So this week, as always, Trisha Paytas has been on a roll with calling influencers out on TikTok. She's kind of become the drama channel of TikTok, which some people are living for, and others are finding it a bit hypocritical because of her past. Her latest target was Dixie D'Amelio. The D'Amelio family posted a video called Our First Mystery Guest, Dinner with the D'Amelios. Their dinner guest ends up being James Charles, and quite honestly, he kind of carried the entire video. At some point in the video, James asked Charlie what keeps her going and motivated with her platform and says when he first met Charlie, he had to tell her to get her shit together and pay attention to contracts and business opportunities. During this conversation, he noticed everyone around him started laughing and he stopped and asked what was so funny. Turns out, Dixie didn't like the food that the chef made and she started to throw up. Charlie then asked if they had any dino nuggets instead of what the chef made for them. Once the video went live, people were actually really mad and disappointed with how Charlie and Dixie acted towards the chef. Here's what people had to say. Imagine having a personal chef serving you these meals and you're acting like this? I'm Spanish and we eat a lot of snails, like even children. They exaggerate too much. Just thinking about the many people who lost their jobs and have nothing to eat, then seeing this boils my blood. Trisha also had something to say on TikTok about how Dixie acted. Trisha says even though they are young, they should be called out and humbled a little bit. Okay, so I just did a reaction to this video of the D'Amelios and James Charles having dinner with a chef and I've seen lots of comments from Dixie saying like just kind of being really combative and bratty towards people who had criticisms of the girls. There's a chef making the food. They're being really disrespectful, just spitting out the food and they're 19. They're young, but I do think since they are role models on such a big platform, they should be called out when they need to be humbled a little. Dixie ended up addressing the whole throw up situation in a video and said that her and her family have actually been working with a chef for a few months now. She says her team knows that she throws up a lot, so they decided it would be funny if they made her snails to try just to get a reaction out of her. Clearly, it worked. Trisha then went on to make another video about Dixie, saying that she's making excuses for what happened and said that if her team knew that she would have had this reaction, they shouldn't have done it in the first place. She speculated that maybe this whole thing was just a PR stunt. In this same video, people also took issue with how Charlie D'Amelio acted. Charlie is about to hit 100 million followers on TikTok, so she said she wanted to hit 100 million one year after hitting a million. James then jumps in and says, oh, wasn't 95 million enough for you? A lot of people took a huge issue with this, which honestly, I have no idea why. There were people calling her ungrateful, spoiled, and some were even saying that she doesn't deserve to have a platform. Of course, Trisha also commented on the situation and said that we see this happen all the time where people get really popular on the internet and they start to feel entitled to a certain amount of followers. This whole situation with Dixie and Charlie really blew up online and Charlie actually started losing followers. According to BuzzFeed, Charlie has lost nearly half a million followers in less than 24 hours. Once the situation started getting out of hand a little bit, Charlie jumped on live stream, noticeably upset to talk about the backlash. First, she addressed the snail situation, saying it was taken the wrong way. It was just supposed to be a joke. She says that she should have done better on her part to edit the footage to make everyone know that it actually was just a joke. She then goes on to address her comment about hitting 100 million followers a year after hitting a huge milestone. She says that she just thought it would be cool if it happened and she didn't mean to make it sound like she thought of her followers as just numbers. She then goes on to talk about some really hateful messages that she's been getting. She says people have been attacking her looks and sending her really nasty and disturbing messages. She starts to get really upset during her live stream and honestly guys, it was really upsetting to watch. This girl is only like 15 or 16 years old and the fact that making such an innocent comment about hitting 100 million ended up getting so much hate is kind of shocking. She goes on to say that she doesn't even know if she wants to be a part of a community that could send such horrible messages to her. Charlie then decides to call out Trisha Paytas. She says Trisha has been rude to her multiple times and pretty much has no room to talk because she has her own issues and she also calls her not a nice person. Of course, once Trisha saw that, she jumped on TikTok and made multiple videos addressing the situation. She specifically goes on to say, Trisha Paytas, you have your own problems. Stop worrying about mine. 
as if to say I'm the crazy one on the internet, I'm the mess, and nobody likes me, blah, blah, blah. And that's, hey, that's that's totally fine. And I'm not worried about you. I'm, I'm commentating on poor behavior because that's the only way you're going to be able to grow and change. And it looks like you have remorse. It looks like you're upset and crying. And I am completely sorry if people are telling you to, that's so wrong on so many levels, but you can't, you can't go James Charles and say, keep my name out of your mouth when your whole career and livelihood is based on social media people talking about you and watching what you do it's it's you call me out but why don't we call out people that are actually being harmful and detrimental to your growth another person who got involved was james charles he had this to say the charlie situation is not sitting right with me a hundred million followers in one year and y'all expect her to know how to be a perfect role model it's because she's a piggy eater and made a joke about a milestone 30 plus year olds dragging someone half their age feels familiar I'm guessing James is saying feels familiar because he went through the exact same thing last year with Tati, Jeffrey, and Shane Dawson. He can probably relate to how Charlie and Dixie are feeling right now. Manny MUA also stepped in and tweeted this. Not grown as adults coming for literal teenagers. Y'all grown. Act like it. A member of the vlog squad also commented on the fact that a problematic influencer, aka Trisha, was trying to cancel a 16-year-old. Imagine being an actual controversial creator coming for a 16-year-old because they have bad manners. We all know Trisha's history with the vlog squad, so I'm not too surprised to see a member call Trisha out for her TikTok videos about Charlie and Dixie. Eventually, Trisha saw James Charles' tweet about Charlie and Dixie, and she decided to go off on James. Here's what Trisha had to say. Poor parenting on your parents and James for allowing you to be friends with Tati, a middle-aged woman while you were a teen. Unfortunately, you were a victim then, but now Charlie is a victim. You being friends with a minor is Imagine always being the victim in every situation. James, how do you do it? How are you so perfect? I know it's easy to deflect to me now, but imagine being James Charles, more hated than even Trisha Paytas. P.S. Stop stealing small creators' art, clothing, and makeup looks. Bad attitudes are the fall of some huge A-list celebs who are actually talented, and you can bet the same goes for D-list hacks like James. Definitely have always said no one deserves to be cancelled. Everyone has room for growth and positive influence. Except James Charles. Please cancel him. He is a forever victim with a superiority conflict. He's never said sorry his whole life slash hangs out with a rage girl. Um, yeah. Anyways, moving on. Hollywood Fix actually caught up with the chef that made the dinner and he said that he wasn't offended at all by how they reacted. He actually defended them and said that it was just a joke. Just when we thought things were coming to an end, James jumped on TikTok and he made a video calling Trisha out for insinuating that his friendship with Charlie was anything more than just being friends and a mentor. He brought up so many things that Trisha has done in the past, which kind of showed how hypocritical it was for her to comment on anyone's bad behavior. Also made a comment about how how Trisha needs to check her friends because they're the real problem in this community. I know I'm just speculating here, but all I can think of who he's talking about is Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. I didn't want to respond to this because I didn't want to give Trisha the attention that she's clearly craving. However, I've now been accused of being a this is not an accusation that I'm going to take lightly. Uh, to insinuate that the relationship between Charlie and I is anything other than just a friendship is absolutely disgusting. I don't need Charlie and Charlie does not need me. I became friends with the D'Amelio family as a whole very, very early on because this is all very, very new to them and I wanted to be a friend and a mentor in any way that I possibly could. And Charlie and I, despite not being the same age, had one thing in common, which was coming to the spotlight at a very, very young age. This is something that Trisha has never experienced because the only reason she is in the spotlight is because she has said this thing. She said she's done blah. She offended the trans community. She offended the DID community. She said she wasn't that bad of a guy. Voted for Trump and has started a fight with about every single other creator on this platform. You are in no position to be talking about me and my career. So I highly recommend that you stop starting fights with people that are half your age. Pack it up and work on holding yourself and your best friends around you because they and you are the problem. You guys just know what comes next. Trisha responded to his TikTok and said that she never insinuated anything about James being a and so that James is bringing up things from her past to use against her when all the bad things about James are in the now. She then asked James to leave Charlie alone because she's way younger than he is. As if that wasn't enough, she then took her rant over to Twitter and wrote, James really thought he did something. He's shamed me and now he's age shamed me, but I never called you a Hanging out with as an adult, however, is James bringing up when I was in my early 20s will be what he has to face in 10 years when people bring up his relationship with an 
girl, boy, girl, gay, straight. Relationships adults have is creepy. So yeah guys, I don't know, but to me this whole situation doesn't seem like a very big deal. These girls are teenagers and they aren't going to be perfect 24-7. I would honestly love to meet one person who doesn't look back to their teenage years and regret how they acted at one point or another. So what do you guys think about this whole situation? Do you think people are being too harsh on Charlie and Dixie or do you think they should be called out for how they acted? <laughs>